What's up guys? Uh, today, right now I'm right here at Adult Zone. I'm looking for the sanding blocks, but it doesn't look like they have any. The only thing they have is this smaller one, but too small. All right, so I came here to O'Reilly's. The only thing they have is this foam one. I'll take it though. And I'm also gonna take this pack 320, it's a roll, and that's it. All right guys, so I'm back from town and here's the block, I already opened it, put a sandpaper on it. It has like vinyl right here in the back and then you just stick on the uh, sandpaper. It came with a couple of sheets uh, just to test, I guess, what do we have, 80, 320, 180, and another 320 over here, so that's what I have, 320. Um, right here I already sanded just a piece. You could tell how smooth it is just by just by the sound. It's like really smooth coming down here. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, but this thing um, it works pretty good. I'm gonna set you guys in the in the tripod so I could just finish maybe doing this uh, quarter panel. I'll probably do it over here in the front since there's more light. I'll do this front fender right here so you guys can check it out right now. Um, it's past seven. Um, I was trying to see what I can do, uh, as much as I can do. So I at least try to get this fender done, uh, tomorrow. Joe said he was going to come over. He said he was going to help me either sand or, uh, just help me with the camera record. So we'll probably leave the block sanding for tomorrow. Today I'm just going to give you guys a test fender just so you guys can see, um, uh, I guess the skills behind this. <laughs> so... Anyways, let me set you guys in a tripod. Alright, so I'm going to start right here with this top piece. So the sandpaper is barely used. I was doing just the top a bit. So I'm going to keep on using it right here. I always want to go in a crisscross pattern, starting, you know, one side. Come back the other side. You can tell how smooth it is coming over here. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. Just I'm I just wanna wait on Joe. I just waited one. Oh, so I just finished the upper part of the fender. Um, I'm gonna, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. I'm just gonna wait on Joe. He he was gonna help me out with the camera or sand whatever. So gonna wait on him. That's that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Uh, right now, I also wanted to show you something else. So this is my Mitsubishi. Most of you guys know this by the Rustolia paint job. I had spent uh, 28 bucks to paint this car. Pretty happy with it. It's been my daily driver like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, something like that. And I never had a problem with it until recently. The AC, uh, the AC just gave out. So... I already searched it. It's around two hundred dollars for the compressor itself. I don't know much about ACs, but once it comes to like something like that, the only thing is just to replace. 
I don't know how to fix those things. But, you know, this has been my car. Uh, I usually like getting old cars because I like, you know, fixing them, giving them a second chance. And um, also because I can't afford something nice, you know. <laughs> but, you know, very nice car. It still drives, like, you know, it's very fun to drive even without the AC. I tried driving it. I said, I'm going to ball it. So I lowered the window and temperatures here are about 105. Sometimes they even go up to 110. It's pretty hot. So I open the window and it feels like a hair dryer just pointing at your face. So yeah, not a good feeling. And also um, I was coming back home the other day and this tire was making some noise. It was low and it was very hot. So you see all the black line around it and it also sp split the tire right here. It still has It still has some air, but you know, it's definitely messed up. So I'm going to have to get another tire for that also. So, you know, from a couple of these little bad news scenarios, there's always something good that comes out. Um, not that I was car shopping or anything like that, but something did come out. And uh, luckily, I was able to take advantage. Boom. So this is my new daily now. Uh... It's missing a plastic. I already ordered it right there on top. Uh, but it's got the, what are those, 617s? Uh, black with the chrome caps. This was an X. Uh, sorry about that. My phone turned off. But as I was saying, this was a police unit. Uh, I'll show you some of the markings. Um, they also have this dark tint right here on the front windshield, which was taken off. But I saw this, I had seen it on the uh, parked in the house, and I saw it and I, I was like, it had a for sale sign. So I thought that should be asking at least six, seven grand maybe. Um, one of the cool little things I saw, this little vent. And it's directed over here to the back of the bumper. That directs it right to the, to the caliper, so that's pretty cool. I don't, know if, I don't know if all Tahoes have that, but that's one little thing that I noticed. I was like... I really haven't paid attention, but it seems different. That's one of those things. But anyways, so they had it up for sale, and I thought it has to be priced up, you know, like it's pretty nice, it's pretty decent. Um so here's the back seat. Alrighty with the kids. Boom. And uh it it's missing this plastic, which I already ordered it, like I said, but it's missing the third row over here. So it doesn't have, I don't think these right here are the mounts to mount the third row, but it's totally missing this seat. And I would have wanted it to have it. I want a third row uh, because there's a little junior on the way. It's still in the oven. Uh, <laughs> So this is definitely going to help out really, really nice. Um, so the price, about the price, it's a Texas thing. Cosa del valle que no se les quita la gente. We called, the guy was asking 3,800 bucks for this. 3,800 bucks, so I was like, wow, I got to have it. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like, I had to, I had to like at least go see it. We go, we went up there, checked it out. I drove it and the guy was out of town. So he had someone there and uh, I even spoke with the guy over the phone and even at 3,800, the guy, me, says, are you firm in the price or can I throw you an offer? Oh my God, I felt so embarrassed even after 3,800, but, you know, I, I, I thought he was going to tell me, are you crazy? I mean, it's already low price, you know, but he, he said, all right, so throw me an offer uh, and I don't know, I just, I didn't even want to move the price too much. So I said, hey. Would you take 36? He was like, um, give me 37. Boom. All right, deal. And here it is, guys. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, check this out on top on the roof. It's uh, It has uh, some clear damage over there. Uh, I'm definitely going to fix that. I think I know how to do that. Uh, so on the inside, yeah, first impressions like the seats. These front ones are cloth. Uh, the center console, that doesn't belong there. So either uh, I'm going to have to look for one, buy one. 
and um, but nothing too bad it runs and drives pretty badass uh, the back seat as you can tell it's a it's like this leather seat so this was replaced after and as I just showed you it doesn't have the third row but very happy with this um, it's it's got its little police features still uh, the vents like I said if you guys have a Tahoe or seen another Tahoe uh, with those vents like let me know um, I don't think this is standard from dealer but that's pretty cool the wheels make it look pretty cool also with the black they removed this front tent I've got some 20% tint so I can cover these two windows uh, but yep that little corner piece I just ordered it, it should come here in a few days and uh, should be complete I haven't showed you the other side I know you guys are wondering what's this guy hiding but nothing really um, it's just black on this side it is missing one of these uh, center caps right here but check that out so yeah it's even got brand new headlights and uh so yeah excuse me it was i was ranting but <clears throat> so back to the camaro thing really happy for this thing anyways uh so back to the camaro tomorrow joe is gonna be here um he'll help me out uh for right now oh look a 900 hundred dollar car <sighs> or best offer it's negotiable <laughs> anyways um so yeah joe's gonna be here tomorrow so i'll probably just start on the, on the definitely start on the block sanding tomorrow and i'll see you guys then thank you guys so much for watching uh you just you know watching me yap around <laughs> anyways that's it that's it uh thank you so much for watching see you on my next one peace out